Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel called Tartaria and History channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Esvedra, Ibiza, Spain. Esvedra is a huge limestone rock jutting out of the Mediterranean Sea off the west coast of the Spanish island of Ibiza. It towers more than 1300 feet above the sea, and legend has it that the rock is the tip of the sunken city of Atlantis. The rock has a powerful magnetic field, which leaves compasses spinning, and even birds disoriented. In fact, it has led to claims that Esvedra is the third most magnetic spot in the world, only behind the Bermuda Triangle and the magnetic North Pole. Interestingly, Esvedra is made of limestone, similar to that of other powerful and energetic spots like the Egyptian pyramids, Stonehenge, and Mayan ruins in Tula, Mexico. This limestone is believed to hold the maximum possible concentration of energy. Visitors to the rock report having experienced healing, creative and inspiring energy, and powerful meditation. What do you think? Patrick Cotter O'Brien Patrick Cotter was working as a bricklayer in the small medieval town of Kinsale on the West Cork coast of Ireland. He was 18 years old and was up to 8 feet 7 inch tall and could reach a cottage roof without a ladder. Patrick was spotted in 1778 by a traveling showman who realized he could make far more money in a freak show than he could as a brickie. Patrick came to England and adopted the stage name of Patrick Cotter O'Brien, his new surname allowed him to claim kinship with a legendary family of towering Irish kings. Mysteries of the Yuga Cycle. Kali Yuga to end in 2025. According to Vedic Reckoning, we are now in Kali Yuga, an unspiritual age of ignorance, sin, and short lifespan. The other three ages are Sat Yuga, Age of Wisdom and Truth, Trita Yuga, Silver Age, and the Dwapara Yuga, Copper Age. In the Brahma of the Varda Purana, Lord Krishna says the Kali Yuga will end in 2025, giving way to a golden age. We are in the end of the demon wars. Take the fight within for the win. Kali Yuga ends in 2025. For your information, do not take any inner demons into the next age. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Hempcrete. Throughout history, hemp has been used extensively across the world for paper, fabrics, and even medicines. Hemp was one of the first cultivated fiber plants with archaeological records of its use tracing back to ancient civilizations in northern China as early as 10,000 BC, originating from rope imprints on pottery. The first Hempcrete building, 1500-year-old Kalasa Temple at Alara Caves, India. Amazingly, it was carved out of a mountain, from the top down, then coated in hemp plaster inside and out, preserving it better than any other structures from the same time period. Anything new always seems to turn out to be a rediscovery, rather than a discovery. Was it just hidden on purpose? Or lost by accident? What do you think?
the official story. The young Isaac Newton was sitting under an apple tree when he was bonked on the head by a falling piece of fruit, a 17th century aha moment that prompted him to suddenly come up with his law of gravity. In reality, things didn't go down quite like that. Newton, the son of a farmer, was born in 1642 near Grantham, England, and entered Cambridge University in 1661. Four years later, following an outbreak of the bubonic plague, the school temporarily closed, forcing Newton to move back to his childhood home, Woolsthorpe Manor. It was during this period at Woolsthorpe, Newton returned to Cambridge in 1667, that he was in the orchard there and witnessed an apple drop from a tree. There's no evidence to suggest the fruit actually landed on his head, but Newton's observation caused him to ponder why apples always fall straight to the ground, rather than sideways or upward, and helped inspired him to eventually develop his law of universal gravitation. Did an apple really fall off a tree and hit him on the head? What do you think? Ralph Glidden was an amateur archaeologist who uncovered ancient burial sites on Catalina Island from 1919 to 1928. Ralph claimed that he had uncovered a secret history of Catalina Island, that he had found evidence of a race of giants, a prehistoric race of blue-eyed and blonde-haired Native Americans on Catalina Island, off the southwestern coast of California. An excavation of the huge cache of skeletons was discovered on the island, a skeleton of a young girl, evidently of high rank within a large funeral urn, was surrounded by those of 64 children, and in various parts of the island, more than 3,000 other skeletons were found, being practically all 7 to 8 feet in height. Some documented to being 9 feet 2 inches tall. As the usual story goes, the skeletons got sent around to the Hayes Foundation and Smithsonian for documentation. Now they have vanished. What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.